happy Tuesday, you guys. Happy day two of the week. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm home. I went to work. I'm home cooking dinner. I am making kale soup. There's my potatoes. And um, I have my kale here. And um, I'm trying to get one of my daughters to um, clean this and cut it up so that when it's time to go in the pot, it's ready to go. But they were jamming to some um, good music, so I was giving them a moment to um, enjoy the songs and vibe to the music, and yeah. But um, I also bought some pita bread to go with tonight's dinner. I actually had to go to the store because um, I didn't have everything that I needed for dinner tonight. So I bought some pita bread because um, the other day at work they bought um, us lunch, which they always buy lunch for us at my job. And they actually bought a Zoe's Kitchen and um, they had like steak kebabs, shrimp kebabs, and chicken kebabs. We had salad and they also brought pita bread and it's really good. So I saw this in the store and thought, I would just go ahead and grab some and try it out here at home and see how that goes. Okay. Hey guys. Are you gonna do the kill? Yeah, I'll do it. I'm watching. Thank you, girl. Mom, like, do you want me to try this for you? Huh? Do you want me to make sure this is done for you? Yes, yes, yes. That is so mm -hmm. awesome. You guys, like <laughs> having the kids help in the kitchen means so much to me. Like to come home from work and then have to cook dinner, especially when you have big grown kids around here. Let me try it. It's a blessing. I'm going to say that. Um, I don't know. Somebody sent something out. I'm, I'm on my phone right now because my uh, camera is upstairs. But while they do that, I'm just going to kind of sit back and talk to you guys for a little while. Um, I hope you guys are having a great um, week to start. And Michaela, I hope you ain't eating up the meat. Who's that? Me. Where you get that from? We need to eat the meat. We need to taste it. No. It. Cook it. Mom, you said yes. You just said, I said, do you want me to taste it? And you just said yes. Oh, no. I thought you said to finish, like, stirring the pot. No. Not eat the meat. Also, Anyways. No. No, no, no. Dude, this, this is some good sausage, right? That's Italian sausage, you guys. So, um, I know I've shared kale soup with y'all before on... Uh, my channel it's like um kale italian sausage potatoes heavy whipping cream um chicken broth basically that's it and then like a couple cups of water i gotta figure out how many cups of water to add and that's just it it's real simple easy good it's so cold outside it's raining raining all week here in georgia like we need a break now now is definitely time to get a break you guys i'm burnt out with the rain um what else has been going on just working oh you guys let me tell you about what happened to me today which this happens all the time like guys hit on me a lot at work and i'm not just trying to say that because of no other reason but because they really do um but i've never had somebody ask me this question before and it was just so awkward it's always awkward at work um when they try to talk to you and um hit on me and things like that but today um one of the guys a patient he um told me um he asked me if i ever kissed a white man with my tongue and i was like have i ever kissed a white man with my tongue like that was just so random and i felt so awkward and i almost felt like throwing up because he was 70 years old like uh i was just like no i haven't you know it was just like a really odd and awkward moment and um yeah so that was just random like never have that i had that happen but i'm like no but anyways um I don't know why I shared that with you guys. What was the purpose of me? Oh, I was talking about work. Work was good. Work is good. I'm glad to be home. I look forward to the weekends, but um, can't complain about my job. Actually, I like it. So I wanted to say that. 
And um, I've been doing this little thing here. Last night I drew my little book here. And I think I'm gonna make this book all about um, just different uh, quotes from the Bible with like a nice little picture. It'll be like a picture book. And then like on the back here, I wrote like a quote that I um, was re reading from yesterday and I just wrote it in here. I'm, I'll read you guys um, a little bit. It says, living by the Spirit's power. It says, so be careful who you, how you live. Be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in this evil world. Like that is, to me, when I think about that, like it's really deep. And that's in Ephesians. Um, I didn't write down the exact, but it's in Ephesians 5. Um, I just wrote a whole, it says Ephesians 5, um, 15 through 20. That's where I was reading last night and where I got this quote from. But yeah, it meant a lot to me to um, read that because it's like, dang, that was kind of powerful to me. And then on this one here, it just says, show me your ways, O Lord, teach me your path. And this is um, Psalms 25, four. So I thought this was nice. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do something in here every day because it also gives me an opportunity to like read my Bible and then draw something in this book that I take from it. That's what I want um, to do. So that's my idea, and I just used my little markers here, or my little um, colored pens um, that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago. And then I got like my little um, thing here. And it has all of, take it off, my little um, highlighters and pens and stuff like that, so yeah. But yes, you guys, I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm not doing much of nothing right now. Amari is upstairs, they canceled practice for today. And um, I was kind of happy about that. I was not kind of, but I am happy that they did that because it's raining and I don't want to be outside in the rain. It was already a lot going to the store after um, work because it was just raining really, really bad. But anyway. Are we going to put this in the toaster? Um, I'm going to put it in the oven because I don't have a toaster. So there's my kale. Oh, this is done. So now it's time to just add the rest of my ingredients Ouch! to this pot. I don't burn myself. And yeah. Maya, how's school going? Cool. How's it going at your new place? Still lame. Hmm? Still lame. That's me? He's lame? Yeah. You know that every time your YouTube sees me, I'm in this jacket. Well, why you wear it so much? That's my favorite one. And uh, that used to be mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they go in my closet and steal my stuff. That's how my kids roll. Literally. I used to be in my mama's stuff too, but not like y'all. Mm -hmm. We would get stuff. We would we would take stuff out of the uh, my mom's closet and put it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do everything so perfect, huh? No, I wasn't yeah, perfect, but I'm just saying, like, I never, like, my mom didn't know we were wearing her stuff. We snuck. Me and my sisters did that. Y'all did that? Mom was like, I used to sneak out and come back in that big house. I never got caught when I snuck out. I never. Never. Maya, shut up, because you get caught at everything you do. Somebody help this child. Maya bad, you guys. <laughs> She do everything. She she. That's because God see all. He he don't he don't leave nothing um, unseen. So he brings it to, to the light. And if it ain't, if it hasn't, it does come. It may not be right now. So boom. But anyway, you guys. All right, you guys. We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I 
dumb. We were watching Scared Straight. That show is crazy. Them kids are bad. But I wanted to show you guys before I started like eating. That looks so good, you guys. Cannot wait to eat. I put mine in my bowl right now because the pita bread is in the oven and I want my food to cool down a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's how it's looking. You guys, if you have not tried um, Toscana soup or Zapata soup, it's like the soup from Olive Garden. I really suggest you guys give it a, um, give it a try because it's super good. It makes you feel happy, okay? But I'm just waiting for the bread to get done. While that was happening, um, oh, I guess it's done. Ooh, I could take it out now. It said to like leave it in the oven for like a minute, so. Anywho, I'm gonna take it out. That looks good. I'm gonna leave it in there for one minute. You can use this this bread for like um, little pizzas or um, like um, you can make like little um, wraps with them or like gyros or something. Am I saying that right? I know there's a certain way you say gyros, but you could use that for that, or you could just eat it like that, like how I'm getting ready to do. So I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna sit down, hang out with, with the kids for a minute before I have to go to bed. My God, you guys, this bread is so good. Amari, I'm gonna get you. This is so super, super good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't get none if you're worried about it. That suit nasty though. You don't eat now. Hmm? Let me feel your head. Mario don't feel good. Let me see you. Come here. Come on, baby. Is that all right? Your, your um, throat hurts? I'm going to school tomorrow. Super good. And these kids on this show is so bad. Oh my God, they all need to be super bad. Anyways, you guys, I had to tell you about the bread. And it has like a little spice to it some red pepper flakes in it. Mm. I cannot get over this kid's facial expression. It's sad. Ugh. Let me back you guys.